Awesome. Hi, y'all. I'm Haley Sprankle from Britain Co. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Um, I'll just jump right in since we only have four minutes. Um, Shailene, from The Secret Life of the American Teenager to Big Little Lies to Three Women, it seems like you've never shied away from sex and your career. And so I'm curious how you've shifted your perspective um, or approach to characters from your Amy Jurgens days to now. Well, I mean, sex is something that is very innately human. Um, it's something that we all have a relationship to, whether we have a healthy relationship to it or not, uh, is based on our own stories. But um, yeah, I, I don't really compare, I guess, like uh, this is different than Secret Life or Big Little Lies. Or To me, it's always about finding or exploring who a particular character is and the way that they relate to themselves. And then the way that we relate to ourselves, I think, dictates the way that we relate to the world and um and sex is included in in that subject and in that reference because yeah it's as it's as natural as breathing or drinking water it is a very human human thing to to be involved with totally speaking of big little lies do you have any tidbits you can drop for season three well i mean i hear the room the same rumors and gossip that you hear and i just hope that they're i hope it's true it'd be very fun Amazing. Um, well, well, back to the sex of it all. I think desire almost feels embarrassing to talk about, even though it is very human, like you said, Shailene. So for both of you, I'm really curious if you felt that kind of embarrassment before and how do you combat the discomfort of talking about sex and desire? Lisa? <laughs> Combating the... the I, I think that like Shailene was saying, it's such a, it's such a natural, um, it's such a natural part of us. And I loved the idea of whether we have healthy relationships or unhealthy ones, which is exactly 100% spot on. But it is the fact that we all have a relationship and the idea that um, to sex and the idea and to desire, which is really, you know, the sort of the bigger, the bigger piece of it. And I think that um, when we talk about sex, it's easy to just kind of get wrapped up in like the sort of, you know, the the different like the positions and weirdness and, and you know, quirks and all of that. Um, I think that the idea and the notion of desire um, doesn't doesn't have anything to do with that sort of other aspect of it. The desire, I think, is a, almost much more of a platonic feeling. It's a desire to be like loved, seen, held. Um, and I think that the sex part of it, which also is, you know, in a healthy relationship and a healthy and one's own healthy relationship to sex, those things are aligned, I, I think, and, and would imagine. Um, but it's really that desire to me. I've never thought of desire as like the same sort of dirty word that people try to make sex into, if that makes sense. I, I, I same answer. Or, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, desire, it's like, it's the same sexual energy. Is so fascinating, right? Because it's something we're all, I think we're all kind of minorly obsessed with because it, it, and, and yet it's this thing that's like, don't talk about it, put it in the closet, pretend it doesn't exist. And yet it like, it runs all of us like desire, attraction, curiosity, magnetism. There's so much in it. And, um, I, yeah, I, I have nothing to add actually. Everything. No, I think that's beautiful. And I think it is kind of complicated and and messy and unsure. And I just think both of you have such a new, unique perspective that you brought to the show with that. So I really appreciate your time today. And I really enjoyed watching the show. So congrats on a fantastic project. Thank you so much, Haley. <laughs> Thank you. Nice talking to you. <laughs>